It used to be the monster of sci-fi movies, the deadly superbug, but fiction quickly turning into fact. According to a British study, by the year 2050, the global death toll from antibiotic-resistant infections could skyrocket to 10 million a year. Today, much of the blame is being put on the meat industry. Every year, cattle ranchers use 29 million pounds of antibiotics in their animals. But how much of that really makes it to your dinner plate? Isis Romero shows us the real story behind the antibiotics in the meat we eat. At first glance, it's a typical dairy farm, but these cows are delivering more than cream and butter. Information is being milked from them, information about what role antibiotics play in the country's meat supply. Paula Cray leads the research project. She experienced the superbug issue firsthand when her father caught an infection in the hospital. It was resistant to all but the strongest of antibiotics. He lost his hearing. And that's a side effect. So this doesn't just affect people who aren't in science. It affects all of us. Cray says by the time meat makes it to our grocery stores, it is not riddled with antibiotic residue. That's not the problem. For decades, the meat industry has fed their animals a steady diet of antibiotics to make them grow faster and eat less. We need antimicrobials to treat diseases in animals okay, to ensure that we have a wholesome and healthy food animal. Over time, bacteria in the animals become resistant to those antibiotics. By the time it gets to our dinner tables, it's free of antibiotics, but full of drug-resistant bacteria that can infect people if the meat isn't cooked properly. Look for labels that say no antibiotics administered or no antibiotics ever. And meats labeled with USDA process verified means inspectors have validated their no antibiotic claims. The CDC estimates half of antibiotic prescriptions in the U.S. aren't even necessary. And the vast majority of people polled admit they stop taking them as soon as they feel better and don't finish their prescription, adding to the resistance problem. Isis Romero, KSAT 12 News.